Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the project. Project Zeb is all about achieving a lifestyle of travel, fitness and living life to the full. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. So moving on, we have the note from Malaysia. This is one Malaysian ringgit. Um, I don't know what to say about this. That holographic see-through thing that features on all these polymer notes. Same with Australian and New Zealand and English. It's the same material, polymer note, which is sort of this plasticky... I don't know how to describe it. It's like a plastic... Plastic. <laughs> Not like paper like these previous ones. They're like the old back notes. These are actually covered in plastic film. And I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I think it's some sort of spaceship. I could be wrong here. I am definitely wrong. They're not spaceships. So don't take offence to whatever they are meant to be. They do look like spaceships to me though. And there's people beneath here. They're just running away from these spaceships. I actually lost the coin for Malaysia. So I've got nothing to show here. Moving on, we went to Vietnam. So this is a thousand Vietnamese dongs. Which, although it says a thousand, it's not actually a huge amount of money. And on the reverse here, more Vietnamese writing. And an elephant is featured. And some nice patterns. So the thing with Vietnam, although they have these notes, they do not have any coins, so I cannot show you an example of a coin for the second time in a row. But if they did have coins, I would show you. And moving on to Singapore. This is a $2 note from Singapore. It probably equates to the same amount in pounds. So around £2. It's pretty much one on one exchange rate. Yeah, and on the reverse of here... This is some sort of education thing, which obviously is a huge important thing in Singapore. But Singapore is an amazing country. If you get the chance to go, I'd really recommend it. And again, we got the see-through, which features, I'm lost on the back of this. What's it say? Oh, it's the wrong way out. In focus. Yeah, no, I can't read that. And again, that like gold foil feature, that's nice. And this is another polymer note. And if I didn't mess the video up, there is a five, five something. This is Singapore coin. I'm not sure what that building's supposed to be, so I can't tell you that information. Moving on to Taiwan. This is a Taiwanese dollar. Taiwan is... Yeah, it's, it's nearby to China, if you don't know the location. Not many people really know where Taiwan is. But it's, it's a lovely country. I'd recommend going. In the reverse here, this is a temple. I'm pretty sure I went to this temple. I feel like I did. But maybe it's a similar temple, I'm not really sure. But this is a hundred Taiwanese dollars. I assume it's Taiwanese dollars. I'm pretty sure it is. But a hundred of those featuring this fella on the front. And here we had the coin for Taiwan that we collected. On the back there, basically just saying that it's one of them. Next one on, we had the Hong Kong $10. $10 from Hong Kong, another polymer note with the see through section, which actually has, I don't know if you can see it, if I can catch it in the light there, you can see 10 in the there, 10 in the see through section, which is a really cool feature. And the colour scheme on this, pink and blue, really striking. And the reverse here, 
10 Hong Kong dollars. I'm not quite sure what the design is, what that yellow thing is. If someone has the information, then drop it in the comments below. That would be cool. And here is a Hong Kong coin. I think it's 1 sen or 10 sen. Ten cents, yeah. And moving on to our final note, this is a prize one, Macau. We just went there for a day trip. I never thought I'd get a note and coin from Macau. It was just like one of my main targets for the day. I was just like, I need to get a note. I need to get a coin. And the reverse there. It's one of the buildings in Macau, I guess. And Banco de China. Macau's like a financial region for China, which is why you would have that featured on there. And there was the coin that I got for Macau. Focus. Macau 2010. And I'm not quite sure what that design on the back is. It looks like a cooking pot of some sort. If it will focus. I don't even know what that is. Maybe it's not a cooking pot. Probably shouldn't say it's a cooking pot. <laughs> and that's the end of my coins and notes. But I do have this one here to show you. Which I acquired in New Zealand. It's to mark the 100 year anniversary of the world war ending. So this is a 50 cent coin. There's only about 2 million of these in circulation. Or were minted at the time. It features the poppy there and some ferns around the outside. Really nice coin, and I'm gonna just keep hold on to this. So I like the way it looks. It's just really striking having that poppy in the middle. And again, the queen there. Nice. So I'm gonna leave off this video here. This is gonna be a super long video. What's this like, 14 minutes long? I can't really fast forward it or anything because I've voiced over the top. So if you got this far in the video, awesome. Catch me in the next one. See you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It'll help me put out more content. Peace, guys.